Again, this is the solenoid example. And let's consider the wine process. The winding force leads to wire elongation. And after the force is removed, the wire shrinks and squeezes the bobbin. Our task is to calculate the bobbin deformation. In relative elongation of the wire according to the Hooke's law is described by this formula where F is the force, E is the Young's modulus in Pascal's and A is the cross section of the wire. L0 is the initial length of the wire. And the similar effect of a shrinking wire may be achieved by cooling down the loose wiring. So if we would have the loose wiring and cool down it, the wire would shrink and squeeze the bobbin. And this effect is ruled by the thermal expansion law. So we can use the thermal expansion effect to simulate the shrink of the wire. All we have to do is to calculate the temperature difference from these two equations and apply this temperature difference to the loose wire to simulate the wire shrink pressure. Let me show you this model. This is the stress analysis problem. And the model class is axisymmetric. In my geometry model, I have the two objects, the bobbin and the wire. And to simulate the force caused by the wire shrink, I will cool down the wire so it will shrink and squeeze the bobbin. Let's take a look at the simulation result. I will switch on the displacement color map. This is what's happened with the bobbin when we wire the winding on it.